Hi everyone, this is Janice. Well, I'm back. I have been gone for several months. I just took some time off. Just life, nothing major, minor things going on. Anyways, I um, was trying to change up my channel a bit and I found some really great ideas to do. So, but for now, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of do what I use. Well, I'm not gonna do an unboxing in this video. Usually, do unboxings, and I probably only do one or two of those a month because I only have two. May just go down to one, uh, but I'm gonna do more um, beauty related, um, lifestyle related, and uh, vlogging a lot more vlogging, and also um, just catch up on what I'm doing and kind of take you on my life's journey since I've turned 71. Uh, Life is different. So if you're today I'm just gonna do a get ready with me and chit chat with you about some of the things that are on my mind. Um, catch you up a little bit. If you're interested, please stay tuned. I really appreciate it. Well thank you for staying tuned. I'm happy you did and I hope you um, I don't bore you too much I'm really rusty but I want to take this opportunity to tell you to please subscribe if you haven't already like this video or not give me some feedback below um, how, how am I doing I mean far well how are you doing I'm, I don't care about me I know how I'm doing how are you doing in the last several months is everyone well and happy and just hanging in there if you have any ideas for me you want to see from me, let me know. But we're just going to play it by ear for now. So, I guess I better start getting ready because I look pretty scary right now. My skin has been going through a lot of changes. It has really gotten dried out. It's got a lot of texture now. It's like all overnight. It just started changing. And... I don't know what to do with it. I've been trying a few things. Some things work, some things don't. So I know for one thing I need a lot of moisture. I can't believe I'm finally catching up. My skin's finally catching up to my age. And before I looked, I thought pretty good for my age as far as dryness and wrinkles and things. But they're they're coming. Uh, yeah, getting old. Um, trying to grow old gracefully. I don't mind growing old. It's, it's a privilege. But I've got some a lot of makeup that I haven't even used. I bought in the past six months. I've bought in some things. I got in Clarence. I still get my boxy charm and Ipsy. So I've gotten some things there. Some of it I've used. Some of it I still haven't tried yet. I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup. Uh, maybe <laughs> once or twice a week. Maybe not that much. So. Yeah, I got a lot of leftover, and I got a lot of things I went through that have dried up, so I've got to do a declutter, that's for sure. But anyway, I got my boxy charm this month. This is for the month of April 2022, and I got to choose my product, and I chose the Anastasia Foundation. And I wanted to try that. I haven't tried this yet. So we're going to try that today. And hopefully I like it. It's first impression, obviously. So uh, I think this color is going to look good. We'll see. We'll make it work. I forgot. I got my sponge. But I want to do it with a brush. Let me grab that. I did some brush cleaning. So probably a third of my brushes are clean. I still got to do some more. But. This is clean. This is my Wet n Wild. Leaves Wet n Wild. Uh, yeah, Wet n Wild foundation brush. I'm going to use that to put the makeup on and then to blend it in. I already put my skincare and my primer on. I used the Spackle primer from Laura Geller. This is not that pretty packaging. I think it's weird they put foundation on there. Yeah, well, I guess it's handy. Hey, that's foundation. <laughs> Yeah, let's just go ahead and put it on my little glass dish. Use one pump. And I, I think this is full coverage. Pretty sure it is. And then it's in the color um, 260 
zero neutral. I am a neutral girl. And this is about a medium, uh, this is a light medium color. That's usually what I wear. I can wear light sometimes and medium. I can wear medium in the summer. But I like this so between the two colors. I was going to do my eye makeup first, but then I thought, no, my face doesn't look that good, so I'm going to go ahead and use foundation. So I'm just going to st stipple it on here and spread it around. So what's been going on with me? Um, I stopped filming, I believe, beginning of September, maybe the last of August of 2021. And I didn't mean to just stop. I totally had intentions to keep on filming. But I um, had my brother move in with me. He um, has COPD, some health problems. So I thought it'd be helpful if I take him underneath my wings for a while, give him a little break. I know different scene different change I changed the scenery gosh I can't talk <laughs> I changed the scenery and so that's what I've done and basically I'm his caretaker he he pretty much do a lot of things by himself but you know I'm here to make sure he has everything he needs he got a little dementia so I make sure he doesn't uh, I make sure he remembers his medicine the crack way I just go ahead or my husband we just give it to him when it's due because I leave it to him. He'll take, he'll forget to take it or he won't take too much. So we don't do that. It's a learning process, that's for sure, and an adjustment process. And I'm gonna grab my mirror here. Let's see how this looks. A 10X. That looks, well, so far, it looks nice. I've got a beauty sponge. I've got the Wet n Wild. I like this one. Go ahead. I did a little bit left on this dish. I'm just going to pounce it in. Just just because. In the beginning of September, I had cataract surgery on my eyes. Uh, I had my right eye done first, and then uh, a few weeks later, I had my left eye done. So I went through that, and that went quite well. I still have to wear glasses. Not for far away, but for nearsightedness. But I sure do notice a difference in sight as uh, far as color. The color, the color of things got real vivid. First thing I noticed when I got a surgery was how blue the sky really is. I'm like, wow, really pretty. I couldn't believe that cataracts make sure you see things differently as far as color goes. Like a different hue. My hair has really gotten long, and I, I cut probably, um, let's see, about this much off myself. So, and it's a little crooked, <laughs> one side longer than the other, <laughs> but uh, I was desperate. I need a color it again. I was going gray. Oh, I am going gray, but I wasn't letting it go gray. I had a gray back down to here. One thing I noticed is that <clears throat> when you walk around like an Oh, gray haired lady people treat you so differently and um, what I mean by that they, they uh, talk to you like you are stupid I mean or if I'm talking to someone and my daughter's next to me they'll kind of look past me and talk to her as if she's supposed to relay the message um, Yeah, you know, just little things. Maybe I'm just sensitive, but um, I didn't think I was. I really don't care. But there's a reason why I don't want to be treated that way in public right now because I am back to work and I, I want them to respect me and to, I don't know, I'm 71. I, I'm not quite ready to go all gray. I mean, I would, if it's a pretty silver, I would. It's just not pretty. I'm vain, I guess. <laughs> But um, I do my own hair dye. I can't believe how fast it's grown since I did it. I only did it a couple weeks ago and started growing in. So 
what have you guys been up to in the past six months, seven months? I'm sorry. If you have watched me before, I'm sure you're giving up on me. But if you're new, I, hopefully you like me and want to continue watching. Basically, I'm going to just talk about my life as an aging lady. And um, as my logo says, Janice Pink and Silver Lady, which basically I've made up that logo because I really feel young at heart and brain, brain especially. I would love to have pink hair. I still haven't, I bought the hair dye, I just haven't done it. But I'm really an older lady underneath with the silver hair and um, body, you know, that's starting to age and dealing with that. That's why I made it. I mean, it's, it's kind of a fun thing. It's nothing negative. I have bought some really good concealer and I, um, going to find that I'm gonna put that on next okay I grabbed the rest of my face makeup I don't know why I didn't think of that before I sat down I was just anxious to get going because I keep I've been trying to get this going all day it's now um late afternoon <laughs> I'm finally doing this jeez I don't know what's wrong with me I bought this at Ulta it's the um let's see benefit B-O-I-I-N-G Bogeen I thought it boring, but it's not boring. There's no R in it. Bogeen. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> yeah. It looks, I thought it was cute. It looks like a pencil. And they have two different kinds. A more matte one. And this is the Bright On Concealer. And it's got more hydration. So, I've used this a few times. So far, I like it. So I'm going to use, I've been wanting to use it more, but I wanted to use it on camera for you. So I've been saving some of these things because I wanted to do a Alta haul, drugstore haul, Sephora haul, online haul. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff collected. So I'm just going to use them and give you my first impressions. Now this I've used a few times, so I do know I like it. I haven't had any problems with it. Seems to brighten me up quite well. And I use my ring 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 figure to do this and just dab it on. I put it up here on my elevens and then right underneath my eyes. I bring it down a little bit because it's a little dark right there. This is a brightener. That's why I liked it so well. Didn't used to have a bright. I didn't used to have to use a brightener. Now I do. And I don't go on heavy anymore, which I never really did. Because, well, when I was younger, we didn't do this stuff. We just put foundation on and that's it. Blush, foundation, mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick. Good to go. <laughs> I can still do that. But uh, I'm preferring to do a little more full face. It's fun. I haven't really gotten into makeup that much lately. A little bit since I started back working, but not heavily because I'm back into dog grooming. Grab my sponge and kind of dab it in a little more. I'm going to look in the 10x here and see how that's looking. Pretty good, but you got, I got to blend it in a little more. Yeah, I really like this. I'm um, still. So, what do you think? Can you tell? <laughs> I make it forever. It's the setting powder. I'm actually hitting pan on this. I just set it. I don't bake, I set. One thing I've noticed lately in the past couple months, I always used eye primer, always. And now when I use eye primer, it gets really dry and cakey, so I'm trying to find one that doesn't do that. 
So if you know of anyone that doesn't get cakey on eyes, I would love your opinion and let me know. But so I've been using concealer because the primer is just, um, yeah, it just dries up. And then it looks like crusties on my eyes. So I just put in a little bit of concealer. Maybe because it's winter and we've had a long winter here in Michigan. No breaks, just constantly cold and snowy and all that. So the heat's been on. Well, shoot, when did that heat start kicking on? Probably September. So I am dried up like a prune. I sleep right underneath the heat register. I um, I have like a area in a finished basement, and I have my own room down here and craft room and makeup room and bedroom and lounge area. This is where I stay because my husband and my brother has their rooms upstairs and um, community kitchen. And it's just my way of getting away from the boys, if you know what I mean. They can drive me crazy. <laughs> I come down here and entertain my dogs. <laughs> Alright, so that is that. I'm going to set that now. Boy, I don't know what to talk about. I'm not a good for gift to gab. I know I was going to tell you what's going on in my life. I kind of highlight that rather quickly. But I, I, yeah, my brother's back. My brother's living here. And I also just recently went back to work at my grooming business downstate that my daughter is running really can't seem to keep employees really hard time nobody wants to work they either say it's too slow and something you get busy but business is real good and then they say it's too busy so we've been trying to hire bathers and groomers and i don't want to get it too big because then you get too much drama it's working with a bunch of ladies yeah it gets chaotic sometimes just with their personal lives and things but I do have three bathers hired but on the three bathers I'm lucky to have a bather every other day or every other week never can work oh I can't work then I'm doing this I had this I had that and I don't know I, I, I believe this is a problem in the whole area with a lot of different businesses so I don't know if it's that problem where you're living, but sure is here. Nobody wants to work. I'm not exaggerating. I am not exaggerating. Every single business has a help one sign in the window. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. So we are busy. The only reason why we would go under is because we just can't get the help to handle it. But so what we're trying to do is just maintain the business and schedule what my daughter can handle. I have a new groomer that is just out of school. She's good, but she still has to build up her speed, but she's a good groomer. And then myself, who I can't groom that much anymore because of other problems, and I'll tell you in this vlog or another vlog about all that, but I am grooming part-time. I also groom part-time at home. I gonna assume you haven't listened to any of my stuff so I am a professional dog groomer 55 years and I've always worked out and decided I want to bring my business home you know just do a handful of people whenever I want to in other words a couple days a week one day a week or whatever just a handful just because I love grooming but I needed to get out of it full time because it's tearing me apart well, physically, my shoulders and everything. Uh, so, that's what I did. And business is good. But uh, I hurt when I groom. I mean, after I'm done for a full day of grooming, I'm in pain. This is blush from Laura Geyer. Geyer? Geller? Laura, Laura Geller. I'll get it out. I got this through a boxy charm. I'm going to drape this. I've been in, getting into draping. 
used to do this years ago. That's how we did our blush. Um, just gives you a little bit of life back, but she, I need it with no sun. I'm in the basement all the time, no sun. <laughs> it is sunny today, I was still chilly. I'm still in sweatshirts. I really like this. That's really a nice blush. And I'm going to do some bronzer. Uh, I got this from the pop-up shop at BoxyCharm. Iconic London. Look how big that pan is. It's just I've gotten this. I've been using it. I love it. The foundation's nice. It's a little darker than I thought it would be, but I like it. I don't need a whole lot of bronzing. My face would be darker than my body. <laughs> Not that you can see my body. It's all covered up with clothes. Just going to do a light going over. I'm not doing this heavy. I don't go heavy with powder. Just enough to set it. I was going to use my Helena Rubenstein powder, but it's buried back there too. Can't quite see my desk. This half is cleaned off. This half is, it's organized, but it's, I got all my new products I wanted to show you on it. So it's kind of all on that table. <laughs> I'll show you later though, in another video. This would make this one too long. These get ready with me is a lot of work for me. Uh, seems like I have to do it more editing. Because I don't have to. I have no energy. If I seem like I'm talking slow, this is mainly my big problem. I am so depressed. And I know every YouTuber I listen to has these issues. What the... What is it? I'm so depressed. I'm, all I want to do is sleep. I'm constantly tired. I feel it takes everything in my being to have energy. Everything. I don't want to do anything. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I don't know what it is. I'm taking medication, but it's... Eh. But I'm not, like, sad. I don't have anxiety. I just... Eh. feel that way about life. Eh. Just age. I hope not because I, I don't. I'm not growing old very gracefully. Let me tell you that much. I want to do things. I want to do things until, until I die. I don't want to be one of these, like my brother, who lays in bed and complains, and not want to mo motivate and do things and move. Because even though I'm in pain, I figured this way. I um. Uh, Either lay in bed and be in pain or get up and move and be in pain. So I get up and move, which is possible. Sometimes I just won't lay in bed though. But I really, really, really push me. So I'm, when I go down state to my other my business, I actually feel very happy. I'm like happy. I love working. Yeah, I retired and hate it. Hate it. I like being retired. I don't like it. I don't like it. <clears throat> no, I like working. Go figure. I thought I'd love being retired. Nope, I don't. Okay, I got an orange on today. I'm not going to put anything on that's going to match this top. <laughs> maybe I won't wear this one. Maybe I'll wear the other one. Anyway, I bought this. I finally went on sale at Sephora. It's a Huda Beauty Mercury Rentergate. I wanted this way back when it first came out. I just didn't pull the trigger. And every time I've seen it online or whatever, I, um, dang, I wish I would have bought that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's nice. It goes on nice. It stays all day. There's not a single color in here I do not like. And I've used it quite a bit. Yeah. But I ain't an orange. And this is all 
Uh, mauves. Greens. Greens is okay. Golds. I can make it work. But here's another one I got. I'll go ahead and show it to you now. Desert Sage Profusion. I went to Walmart because they were selling it and they were Can you believe the end cap? Guess how many of these they had on the end cap? Three. Well, all three were sold. So I thought, ah, oh, shoot. But they did have this left. They have six, six of these, I think. These little sponges. It looks like little cacti. <laughs> Adorable. I haven't used it yet because I want to show you guys first. Uh, yeah, my eyes are opening now since I got you on here. I used to live in Arizona, in Tucson area. And these little guys were all over the place. Gorgeous country. I miss it out there so much. <laughs> it's a holder. Okay, and here is the sponge. Ooh, feels nice. Wow. You gotta admit. That's just adorable, adorable. So I had to get that, and so I seen, I went home and I went on their website and seen they had this, I ordered it. Yeah, and I love it. Oh my gosh, the pigmentation's great. It's, it's got a mirror, and then it looks like a flower. And it has a, a sheet. the names on it you know the, this is very inexpensive so it's okay that the names aren't on here I don't care but isn't that pretty yeah the pans are that big some are but I I have so much eyeshadow I don't need big pans of anything now can I wear this and yeah I can wear this here yeah I'll go ahead and wear it I I've, I've worn this quite a bit too I really like it. you know I really like it Okay, I already put my eye. Yeah, I did that. Okay, I remember what I where I'm at here. I'm going to go ahead and use. You know, if I tell you the names of these, I gotta put my eyeglasses on, back and forth. So I'm not gonna tell you the names. Just show you. I'm going to put this on as a transition shade. Okay. Just gonna put it over my whole eyelid in my transition. I'm not doing any fancy eye shadow designs or anything. Not designs, but you know, I'm just I'm just putting it on. This is my lazy girl eyeshadow day, <laughs> which is 99% of the time. I have watched some tutorials of some looks I would love to try that look really simple. I just got to practice them that I thought think would look good on me. One day maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, let's try this little darker one here. If I grab enough brushes, I could I'll try the darker olive there. This one here. fallout. I already put my foundation on so that's nice. If not and if I did I would just fix it but I'm not going any well yeah. No. I wasn't gonna go down there tonight. Which I still might, but I might we just wait till early in the morning and go. It's a good uh, not quite two hours away, but hour forty minutes away. What I do is I drive down there and I spend the night um, usually I'm down there two or three days, sometimes four. And I just stay down there with my daughter and then come back home. I don't go back and forth because one number one it takes too much time. I don't like long commutes. When I was younger it was fine. <clears throat> and of course the main reason is because it's tiring and gas prices are outrageous. 
our prices are around four bucks a gallon right now. It varies anywhere from three eighty nine to four twenty five and thirty five. I never know what's going to be. It's always changing. We have a lot of gas tax in our state, and if it didn't drop it because we have really bad roads in Michigan because of our weather, and they're constantly having to resurface our roads, so they need the money for that. So I just don't go that much. Not that I... I don't really go that much. Well, now I do, but normally I just stay home. Oh, talk about going places. We bought a new car. Our lease ran up on our other one. We had a um, 19, yeah, right, Janice. We had a 2019 um, Chevy Equinox. And our lease was up in July here. But they sent us a letter and said, you know, we can start shopping and, you know, order something because there's just a backlog of cars. Well, we did that. So we ordered a 2022 Equinox. Uh, I think it's RS. Yeah, it has black rim wheels, black bow tie, sunroof, and it's cherry red. Leather seats, gorgeous. Anyway, um, it came in within a week. It was already on line being built. So we got an early buyout from our lease. And we love it. My husband traded his car in, so we're actually down to one car now instead of two, because he retired. So I told him, you sure you want to do that? Because I was just contemplating going back to work downstate. He said, yeah. He says, I, I don't really need a car. If I need something, you know, we have, I have transit up here. We have a bus service. And um, also my sister lives up here. They can always help us out. It's okay. So he's without a car half the week. Like, he's been walking. You think he's just bored he walked to the drugstore, walked to the grocery store a couple of times. I said, oh, for Pete's sakes, you don't even need groceries. But he, I think he just likes getting out and walking. It's one thing nice about living here, um, everything's in walking distance. We live right in town, a small town, but we are, we live conveniently. And we moved here because, well, I wanted, I wanted land, but that didn't work out. So we looked at this place in town and thought, well, we are older now, so we probably should be by neighbors, close neighbors, and easy access, if you know what I mean. I'm using this one as a um, shimmer. Pretty. All these greens are so gorgeous. Now this middle one, it's glitter. And that one here. I don't use that one. It's yeah. I don't. That's the only one I don't like. I don't use it. Kind of can use. Uh, let's see, here's another one here. I'm gonna try. I don't know if I tried you yet. This one here. I just playing around with different. But that was soft because I barely tied. Oh no. I use the wrong brush. That's okay. I use it. It's eyeliner brush. Oh Jesus, Janice. Ah. Uh, Let's get the right one. Okay, and it is soft though. Ooh, wow, is it ever, isn't that pretty? Blue, well, this was only like, what were you? Five ninety nine, six ninety nine, something like that? I can't remember. Or seven ninety nine. Well, anyway, one of those 99s. Oh, that's the first time I use that. That is pretty. All right, let's do a little blending here. Highlighter on my eyebrow. I need eyebrow. I'm going to use this. Are there? I 
Oh, oh, my battery is flashing. I got to change it. I have missed you guys. I mean, I have missed this, really. I, I think about it all the time. All the time. And it's... My room is such a mess, you know, moving someone in. And my house has just been in disarray. So finally, I took it. I'm going to clean out a corner downstairs and reset up an area. I had it really queued upstairs. So anyway, I finally found, come up with this idea. And we'll live with this for a while. Hopefully, it's okay. It's right there. I'm kind of confined in one little area. I did have this another room. I don't know part of the basement, but it's cold over there. No heat in that room. So I think, no, no. Maybe in the summer, when it's, I'll appreciate that coolness. Okay, I gotta do my under eye here real quick. And let's get going here. Ta -ta -ta. What am I doing? I think I'm gonna do like a, a rust color, like a brownish rust. Let me, I'm curious real quick. I'm gonna put my glasses on real quick. Tell you the colors I did put on my eyes. Just I don't like these sheets, but you know, for a few dollars, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that one's gonna be disconnect. The Darker green with sage. Oh no, the middle green with sage across my lid. The darker green mossy. The shimmer was cactus. And then the inner corner was, what are you? Succulent. Okay. And, oh, and then above my, below my eyebrow was roundless. Not that that makes a difference, but. I see everyone else doing it, so I'm gonna do it. All right, let's grab this rusty color and see what we can do with it. So I got to do my mascara. I wanted to try it. Uh, it's by Revlon. Everyone says I don't like Revlon mascara, but I have found a couple that I like. I haven't tried this one yet. This one is So Fierce Eyes Wide Open. Oh, let me sit up here. leaning forward because of my mirror and then you get top of my head and not me I'll be editing these things oh, Janice you're such an idiot you can't see anything but the top of your head I get so mad at myself well oh, that's a unique brush look at that it's kind of oh. there you go oh the camera keeps wanting to do my face there it is can you see that? Kind of twisty. Hmm, excited. Okay. another mascara here let's see what this one is this one I got from Ipsy extreme volume nourishing mascara by Oma got that in my Ipsy glam bag so we're gonna go with the volume yeah nice fluffy brush now I've been wearing waterproof mascara especially working because I work with water you know big dogs and things and I'm finding I really loving the waterproof especially for stay and um curl okay. don't wait my eyelashes on a 
this is nice. I, I don't know if I used this yet or not. I don't think I have. I might have won. I don't remember. So, technically, I haven't because I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I like. Oh, yes, I like. See, I like the lengthy. And then I go with volume. I just like the com combination. So, I like them to be long, but I also like them to be full. And I don't put the volume on the bottom, just the lengthening or, you know, and I just kind of glaze over it. I wear glasses, so I don't go crazy. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wear glasses all the time when I got my eye surgery, which I don't. I can see far away. I can drive without them. I watch TV without them. Actually, I can see better, but I usually just keep my face because I don't like taking them on and off all the time. I got this in my boxy charm. It's Dragon Beauty lip pencil. I like this a lot. It's a brown nude. I know I have orange. You usually don't wear orange. I don't like it, but this sweatshirt is so warm. I got pink under it. <laughs> I have jeans on, so hey. <laughs> Um, yeah. It's a new lipstick. What do I do with it? Lipstick, come here. There's a line by Maybelline called Lifter Gloss. These things are nice. They got hydraulic acid in them. They keep your, nice, your lips nice and soft and supple. And I got them two different colors. This one, I just grabbed the first one I seen. They're both similar. This has got like a frost, a shimmer, a little bit of shimmer, not much. It's on number 800 stone. And the other one is more opaque. But I like this. And of course, it doesn't match my top, but I don't care. It matches my pink shirt. feels so nice. My sister loves this too. She's the one that found it. I said, hey, look at this. I had to go buy some. She, she had one up on me. I'm, I'm supposed to be the beauty guru and she is the craft guru. <laughs> ah, she knows just as much as I do. Is that it, Janice? I'm not going to put any setting spray on. I don't need it. I'm not going anywhere. So that is my get ready with me. Um, it's kind of all over the place. Well, my talking was. <laughs> Um, very unorganized, but you know, that's my life. That's why I'm having troubles. I'm very unorganized. I'm usually a very organized person. It just takes a lot of brain power. <laughs> and I find uh, using my brain is very exhausting. I am going to a YouTube convention in Las Vegas here next month with my sister. So that's good news. I plan on doing more YouTube videos. I just took a long break, too long. They're gonna wonder, what the heck happened to you? I haven't grown my channel or nothing. I mean, it's stale. Okay. I don't know if I can recover it. I don't want it to start another one. I'll just, I'll see what happens here. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm doing this more for hobbies slash recreation. I mean, I would love to do a little bit more so I can get a little bit of revenue from it in a few years from now. So when I can't physically groom dogs anymore. So, that means I gotta get in the ball and start uploading. I do enjoy it once I get to it. Procrastination. Yeah. So, anyway, I hope this video finds you all well. And I hope you enjoyed it somewhat. Um, I enjoyed being back here again. Um, if you haven't already, I'd love to see a little more of me. I do have a lot more to talk about. I just didn't want to make this too awfully long as it is. Get ready with me it's a little longer than normal, but I have some ideas on the burner. I'm gonna do a lot more vlogging, car vlogging too, so that's gonna be a lot easier for me to do quicker to get up and things. And so I keep in contact with you guys and say, Hey, I'm alive, I'm doing quite well. Well, like this video or not, and um, 
Also, give me a comment. What'd you think? My first time back. Do I sound like I started from the beginning again? I'm like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm just awkward today. I'm not nervous. Just awkward. But I do miss you guys. And I hope I see you guys. I hope to see you back on my channel so I can talk to you again because that really makes my day. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sign off now and I bid you a farewell for now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.